Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a look on Jade Thurlwall, and I don't know if I said her name right, I googled it, and it still doesn't tell me how to say it, and I love Little Mix, and you would think after following them ever since they were on X Factor that I would know how to say her last name, but I don't. So yeah, um, and I'm really depressed because they're coming to Florida, and I don't get to see them. Which sucks, because I've been following them, like I said, since X Factor. But anyway, if you want to find out how to get this look, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a very purple, smoky, glittery eye with some false lashes. You can skip the false lashes if you want and just put on mascara, but I love the false lashes, so I'm going to put them on. And a very neon pink lip. And if you did enjoy, or if you enjoy this video, Please give it a thumbs up. I would love you if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. It's free. You don't have to do anything. You just have to click a button. And it shows you whenever I upload. And yeah. So if you want to figure out how to get this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already applied my um, Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original. And now I'm going to take this uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Ether. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. Yep, it focused. Okay, and this is how it looks. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. It's kind of like a gray base with like purple sparkles. And it's going to go in and out of focus, but okay. And I don't have any foundation on because this look is kind of glittery. So you don't want like any fallout or anything like that. And all I'm going to do is put this all over my lid and kind of just following like the natural shape of my lid really. Taking this um, Sedona Lace 904 brush. Just gonna lightly blend this out. Taking a Real Techniques brush, and yes, it's kind of dirty because I've been using it today. And the color Grifter, it's right here. It's like a really, really pretty shimmery purple color. And this is gonna go on the inner corner. And this is actually my first time using this color. I have never used this color before, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and I love it. So, and it has some glitter, um, particles in it but it's not too bad urban decay is known for like having glitter in their shimmers set or in their shimmers and their eyeshadows what the heck is shimmer and i'm gonna put this eyeshadow all over my lid and then taking last call just kind of flipping over this um brush i'm gonna be using this brush quite a bit and just putting this in the outer corner um, I'm mainly doing this because I like how it looks when it's blended out. You can skip this step if you absolutely want to or you've, you don't have like a color similar to this or anything. I'm going to take Tornado and it's just like this really gorgeous purple color and I'm going to take the same Urban Decay eyeshadow. Not, it's not Urban Decay, it's a Real Techniques brush. And it doesn't really matter which side because it's the darkest color of them all. And... I'm just going to place this mainly on the outer corner and as the shadow starts to like die down on the brush I'm just going to kind of move it to about the middle of the eye and then stop. And then I'm going to blend and then if I need to I can add some more um, but we'll see. I'm going to wipe away. Um, so it goes up as more of like an angular shape and it'll look a little bit better once You know, I've put foundation on and things like that. It'll kind of soften out so it's not as such a harsh line But I don't want it going completely out and not looking Good at all. So then I'm going to take the same eyeliner again Which is just from Urban Decay and I'm going to go underneath my bottom lash line and then I'm going to blend this out again with the first brush we used just the Sedona lace pencil brush any pencil brush would do um, but yeah and then taking this 
other pencil brush. It's from MAC. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. Please focus. Okay. It's kind of dirty. Again, I used it. And I'm going to take the first shade we took, or I took, Grifter. Now that's not going to focus because my camera is being difficult. Focus. No, it's not going to focus. doesn't want to focus. Okay, I'm not going to make you focus, camera. Um, and I'm just going to place that mainly on the inner corner. And then I'm going to take last call again, and I'm not going to show you guys because my camera doesn't want to focus. Taking tornado again because you want to bring everything together. Okay, so there you go. That part is done. Um, now, here comes, like, the part that you can either skip or not skip if you want to. Um, I'm just going to take an angled eyeliner brush because I don't want to do any gel eyeliners. And this is just a MAC 208 brush. And taking my Naked Basics palette, just using the color Crave, which is this one. It's just a black. And I'm going to line my bottom and top lashes. You can skip the bottom lashes if you want to, but that kind of defines the lashes even more. So that's why I'm going to do it, because I'm not doing um, gel liner or... Um, I'm not doing gel liner or a pencil liner in my waterline um, because from what I could tell from the picture, she doesn't have anything in her waterline. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. And I'm also going to put on... These lashes from Ardell, they're the 108s. I'm also going to fill in my eyebrows and um, kind of clean up and put some foundation on. And then I'll be back because that's a lot and I don't want to have to put that in the video and bore y'all to death. So yeah. Okay, so basically what I've done is I've put on lashes. I've used my Buxom Lash mascara, you can get it at Sephora, I think it's like 20 something dollars. And I've also used my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, and this is only $10. Even though it's a tiny little tube, it's amazing, and I love it. And I'm waiting for the lash glue to dry, um, and if you hear noise in the background or see a dog, that is obviously my dog, I had to keep the playroom door open because she was freaking out for some reason I don't know why so moving on anyway because well yeah um as I'm waiting for the glue to dry um I'm then going to highlight underneath my brow bone but I have to wait for it to dry because I don't want to screw it up um so I'm gonna take max harmony blush and I don't know um, I know you can't get this in the stores. I think this is a pro product, um, but I bought it online and I'm not a pro, so I'll leave a link to this down below. Um, and I'm just going to take an angled eyeliner brush. I haven't used this in a long time and I used to love it. Um, and I'm just using 850 from Sedona Lace and I'm just lightly brushing this on. Um, now Jade, no, not Jade, yeah, Jade, why, why do I think this is Jessie? Um, Jade has, like, very contoured cheeks, so I'm trying to focus on that as well. And right now it looks super harsh, but I'm gonna blend it out. Um, okay, so it's more, like, focusing on the contour in this look. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to really make sure that this is blended out. And I'm using a clean brush for that. Because I don't want to put any more product onto my face. Um, so. It's taking MAC Soft and Gentle Skin Finish. Looks like that. And I'm just going to take the brush that I just used, which is a Real Techniques Contour Brush. 
And I'm just gonna put that right on my cheekbones and I'm gonna take Foxy from Urban Decay as my highlight color because it's just like a really nice creamy kind of color. And this is just gonna go right underneath my brow bone. So obviously she was wearing a really fun lip color. Now you could do a really natural looking lip color so you could just you know go with a natural looking lip gloss and be done. You could use one like this. It's more pinky toned but it's still very sheer but it stays on really well. This is by Marc Jacobs. It's in the color heart shaped. Um, you could use a NYX Butter London no, Butter London, Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie. It's just a really nice pinky neutral color. You could use Angel from MAC. It's a really nice neutral color. Also, you could use Pervet. Um, it has more of like a duochrome finish to it, so it has more blues and purples in it, and it'll bring out the eyes a little bit. For her lip color, I'm gonna stay true to what she was wearing. Now, I don't know if she's wearing this exact color, um, because it was still more of like a muted neon lip color. Um, but this is just Viva Glam Nikki. Um, this is the first one. It's not the purple one. The second one is the purple one. And I'm just using a lip brush because it is more of a muted color. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. And if you're wondering what brush I'm using, it's um, a Hello Kitty like traveling lip brush and you can just like put it in here and it doesn't get all over your stuff and it's really nice and I really, really like it. Um, so, this is it. This is the final, this is the final look. I really, really like this look. Um, I'm pretty sure I've said that about all three of the tutorials that I've done so far including this one. So the next one is probably, okay, the lipstick in that video is my favorite out of all four of the videos, but you have to wait until next week to see that. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see future videos and giveaways that I do because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more giveaways and a lot more videos because I like making these videos for you guys. And yeah, and sorry about the weird background. I like filming in here because, I, yeah. So, I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, next week. Okay, bye.